Dear brethren, God bless you all. Today we will be talking about how our mission functions, how we are organized, about the message, our traveling. And if you have any questions that we don't cover here, feel free to write in and ask. Brother Joseph, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. The Lord bless you. Can you tell us um, on a daily, regular basis, how does our mission function? What do we do here in the community? Well, we just very simple and we just evangelize every day. We love the Lord every day as much as we can, never enough. <laughs> and that's it. Amen. Uh, I'm here with my wife, uh, six children. Actually, somebody from Italy was sending in a question saying, what do you do in the mission every day? <laughs> <laughs> you see, people might think that we are very strange animals because you don't <laughs> see today like uh, many churches or uh, missions operating like we do. Missionaries, yes, in the mission field, uh, I've seen many uh, when I was in different places like uh, India, etc. like that. The missionary, they have to live like we do, sharing the money, the food, because uh, you cannot just survive by Sunday morning waiting somebody to bring you some money, somebody sitting on a church bench. Hmm. So missionary have to live like the early church. In Acts chapter 2, they were sharing the money and everything. Here what we do, I mean, sharing with everybody here, like I'm self-supported, I have... Uh, we have some money, me and my wife and my children, we have no problem to support ourselves. So the money we receive from the tithe, it goes into the mission, you understand? Amen. As you know very well. And, uh, but even our personal money we receive from our relatives, my wife and I, we share it with you, as you well know, Amen. to the last penny. Yes. So uh, like my wife and I and the children are kind of self-supported by our relatives who, who help us. And plus, uh, sometimes there is a little extra which we share with everybody. The problem is here to finance the gospel work. And that's where the donation, the, the, the yes, tithes that yes. come in, uh, it makes possible our mission to evangelize. Okay, it's not to support me because I, I'm fine. I don't need you to send me any food or anything. <laughs> uh, you have some very sweet relatives that help us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anything so today else? is Sunday. What's happening in our mission today? <laughs> today I have uh, uh, like three of my children. They are our witnessing. Yes. All right. Uh, together with some brethren. Yes. So they are a team. How many are they? Five? There are five people. Five people. Yeah. Two adults and three children of mine. What children? They're teenagers the, by now. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> called the children. Yeah. Yeah. One is 16. From 12 to 16. There. Right. And they're doing a gospel skit. They have they to present it today four times. Uh, many times. Four today? Four different mm -hmm. groups of people yeah. will watch this evangelistic theater and at the end they will pray with all of them to receive yeah. Jesus for uh, healing and liberation yeah, yeah, from yeah. any bad spirits. Yeah, I think it's in a church they're doing it because we are churches inviting us. We, As you know, we go everywhere. We go to Catholic, to Protestants. Uh, we really don't care at all what kind of sect, denomination or uh, <laughs> the church is. We, God loves everyone. We're sincere. Okay, we don't have any handicap, uh, like Protestant handicap that uh, the all the Catholic go to hell or vice versa. People don't go to hell because they're Catholic or Protestants, okay? Go to hell because they reject Jesus. So they were invited to this church and they're doing a full gospel shows. Uh, right. And at the end, they pray with everybody to receive Jesus. I think it is a Catholic church, right? Yes. So at the end, they pray to receive Jesus. My big son, 16 year old, he plays the part of Jesus. <laughs> okay, then the younger, the, the younger one plays the part of the guy who drinks beer, takes drugs. Uh, so then there is a, a sister, a daughter, that's the part of, she's a, does witchcraft, whatever she does. In this she's case. going through different experiences, mm -hmm. uh, like materialism that steals her heart and then she gets disappointed, it doesn't work right. to make her happy. Right. Then witchcraft and the cards to yeah. get into those witch problems. Yeah. And then she does also the TV and the Facebook and addiction to internet, right, which right. is another disappointment that doesn't make you happy. Yeah, and the show begins with this brother, uh, Tim, he goes around with the fishing pole, and the fishing pole there is hanging money, materialism, uh, jew jewels. New cars, bank new accounts, cars, iPhones. On, on this fishing pole. <laughs> and he goes around the church showing and everybody is, goes around showing everybody, dress up as a devil, uh, mask, etc. And then he goes to the, uh, the stage and then the, the, the rest of the actors uh, try to get these things. And uh, then he goes on and on and on and on and on until at uh, the end, of, it's a 20, 25 minute skit. Right. And the people in the church like it very much. And then uh, they show the crucifixion of Jesus, the resurrection. And then everybody prays to receive Jesus. And then at the end, everybody, uh, everybody claps and they go. 
Jesus, that's my son, leads everybody into the, into the audience and they go hug people and kiss people. And then at the end, a lot of time, we even have a chance to pray for the people who are sick. We do also uh, prayer for healings. And, but that, it doesn't happen in every church because some churches are kind of don't let us. But I remember one church was in Peru, no? In Peru, yes. we did a lot of healing in yes, the churches. Yes. One church, uh, we were able to pray. We had 120 healings. Yes. I remember one morning. Many people came out yeah, to us praying. Uh, I was able to pray. One by one, I prayed. Uh, 120, we got to go healed in just one church. And it was a Catholic church. And why? <laughs> well, some of the brethren were talking to the priest about this and that. We were able to pray with the people outside the church. So kind of in a little bit and not so evident, all right? But the Holy Spirit works, all right? And this Amen. happened in many, many churches. Thank you, Jesus. So what else is happening in the mission on a regular basis? Let me ask my wife, uh, Deborah, what's happening in the mission here? Uh, lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what's happening? My name is John and I'm four years old and... What do you want to tell and, our friends? And, and the shoes the armor. <laughs> Jesus the armor. Jesus the armor. Why are the chicks going around? Why are the chickens are going around? Because Why? they're looking for food. Eh? Ah. So we are in a beautiful garden here, the Lord provided. The chicks are pecking at yes. the floor. But listen now, do you want to say a little prayer, a couple of words, the Lord to bless mm. our brother? Jesus, give the Holy Spirit to them Man. And, and bless them with food and courage. Amen. Food and courage, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you, John. So praise the Lord, and uh, that's it. So Amen. The, yes. Then I have one five pesos. One. Uh, oh yeah. Where did you find that? Yeah. Do you know in the box? Yes. Do you know in Angie's box? I found this. Oh, you went into Angie's box. <laughs> Let yes. me, uh, how much is that? Deborah, how much it's is that? Five pesos. Five pesos. <laughs> hey, you, you need to give that to mommy, okay? Why, Dad? Uh, I want to play to when Paul goes in the swimming pool. <laughs> that's why he throws the coin inside it and he tries to find it. Uh, we don't play with the money, actually. You have a bunch of toys here, okay? The money, <laughs> it, it, not even, it's not even clean. You know? No but coins. Daddy, uh, if you put it in your mouth, it's not clean, okay? Yeah. So you notice John, he's a very fireball. He's young, but he's on fire. And when we go out, he, he loves to say, Jesus te ama. That's all he can say in Spanish, but he does it. <laughs> God yes. bless him. He talks all day long. <laughs> <laughs> he's running around with the chickens. <laughs> Keeping me busy when I'm cooking. He's talking. He's Actually, all the children are very much a blessing so, for us. in our So they were a mother of six. How do you feel? Whoa, <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> are, no, the children are really a blessing. People are wondering, how do you do it? See, well, we have three children yeah. are doing theaters right now, to mm -hmm. a gospel theater, and it's, it's beautiful that they that they have the desire to go. They really wanted to go out, all of them. Yeah, it's they a have blessing. to take turns, but uh, that's how it is. It's a blessing to keep them busy with gospel work so they don't exactly. get into the deceitfulness of the world. Yeah. And then internet, this and that, they don't get into the stuff. It doesn't come easy, but they are, uh, they are making it. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Uh-oh. I need to go and look after John. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> He's chasing the chickens. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, my wife, Deborah, doesn't appear much on the radio talking. She's not a big talker at all. She's kind of a shy person, but she's very spiritual. She's a big blessing for me. really helps uh, to keep me in the, the Lord's will and the Lord's work. It's a big, big blessing. She Thank runs you, the house. Amen. It's a big blessing. Amen. I don't know if we could take to be to big preachers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. And besides that, here we are today answering some of the um, questions from our listeners from the radio, yeah. who have many questions about the Bible, about the end times. So we are privileged to be here answering them. Praise the Lord. Now, being a Sunday, I wonder if some people want to say, but don't you have Sunday services and uh, fellowship with the community and worshiping the Lord and the normal Sunday service?